Hi, great real estate investors. Hope you are doing great. Welcome back to this channel, Olamash of Ghana, where we talk about everything real estate here in Ghana and beyond. Today, I'm bringing glad tidings to you from the hillside of Abukobi. This is a very beautiful location, and there's a project we are working on for a client, which we titled Project Ima. At the moment, we are done with the block lane for this project. At the first floor, we are working towards our second floor. Now I want to share with you the carpentry process for the column casting and the beams for the entrance for all the apartments we are having or all the partition we've done that comes with an entrance door on this floor over here. If you are seeing this channel for the first time, can you click on the subscribe button and also don't forget to click on the bell button beside the subscribe button which is the notification button so that you will always receive notification of various real estate investment opportunities that we are going to be sharing with you on this channel. Okay, share this with friends and family once again. If you are searching for a land in any part of Accra, Contact us at Olama Reality and Construction. You want to buy your dream home? Get in touch with us. You want to build your dream home? We can. We are here to help you from architectural designs to building permit approval to commencement of your construction project to the final stage where we will hand over your key to you and you can easily move in to a well-built home that can last forever for you. Okay. Now, let's get started with the main purpose of this video, okay? So I'm coming to share with you the carpentry process. So under normal circumstances, this is how the process it always looks like. When we are done with the block lane or when we are like 90% done with the block lane, we've created all the partitions where the living rooms will be, where the kitchen, the bedrooms, the storerooms, the visitor's washroom. When you've used block work to create all this partition, in accordance to the architectural designs, the next thing is for the carpenters to come on board to start with their form work. Because we have to cast the columns and also, we also have to cast all the entrance because all our entrance doors are seven feet in size. So it becomes necessary for us to have an entrance beam, okay? So this is what the carpenters are coming to do. So as they are in, as you're seeing on your video, they started with getting of the woods because we have enough woods that we use for the casting of the ground floor to the first floor. And we also have new beam plates that we've went to the market to purchase. So the carpenters are in, we purchase the new nails for them. As you can see, they started with the fixing of the form work. They've started with the boards, okay? Now, when they are done fixing all the boards, or when they are like 70% done, we are going to start our concrete casting. While we are casting, they will be working on the 30% side that is remaining. So by the time they will also be done fixing their form work, we'll also come to join them and cast all the columns, okay? Now, the, the, um, the steel bars that we are using for our columns are 16 millimeter bars, and the stirrups, they are all 10, millimeter bars and this has been set over there and also when it comes to the entrance beam we are making use of 12 millimeter bars and we're using 10 millimeter bars for the stirrups or what we call the rings so all these beams um, still that has been formed will also be placed at all the entrance where we are creating doors which are going to be seven feet in height so we are coming to cast them as you are seeing on your string so this is the time you see the capitals are done now we've gotten the laborers the mason are also in so we get our stones we get our cement we're using 42.5 hour grade of cement 
for these columns and beam casting okay and we have a very good sharp sand so we have a very good ratio mixing because we want quality we want to make sure we have enough cement in this mixing ratio okay so this is how the casting is being done so we start with the column casting so when we are done you see how the work is progressing so we also go in we start casting all the entrance being as the carpenters are done fixing all these boards okay so you can see how the work is going it's very very cool the mixing work is being done then we have some that are in charge they are the one loading the other laborers and they are pushing or supplying this mixing concrete to the masons so that they can also pour them inside the columns for us okay so this is a very beautiful process that i think is going to also inspire you to also start your own building project isn't this beautiful seeing someone else dream home being achieved by us we can as well help you to also achieve your own dream home you can see how we are casting all the columns we give a lot of space between the block and the columns so that enough concrete can go in we make sure this concrete is very very rich with cement for um to make sure we maintain the structural integrity of this project and don't forget when we are done with this the carpenters are coming in to start the work for the decking for us to be able to have our second floor slab for us to lay the block this project is coming with four floors we have the basement we have the second basement which is also like the ground floor and we have the first floor and the second floor so we are currently at the first floor we are working for us to have our second floor slab so we can now also lay the rest of the block to have our roofing so we'll be having a secret roofing i'll also be sharing the roofing process with us on this wonderful channel we'll be creating a roof gutter round the roofing at the last floor which is something that you also love to see how this is being done so look at how the work is going we are doing our casting our laborers are very active you can see how they are moving the concrete from where it is being mixed over to the masons to pour them inside the columns so over here as well we are having two round columns which is pillars okay so we get a mold which is the iron mold and we've set this mold and now we've also take the top level to be able to indicate to the masons where they have to stop the pouring of the concrete this is very very vital if we don't do that we don't want the columns or the round columns to be higher than the level of the block because the carpenters are coming to do a form work to create a beams to connect to these two round pillars which we are having at the dining area okay this place as well will be having a double high living area from this floor to the second floor this is what the client wants so the structural aspect too has also been taken care of so this is a very beautiful process i always love anytime we're casting concrete because it's just it just have some kind of nice feeling for you okay so how this work is going the concrete is being cast the masons are being active you see our laborers too they are very active and the consistency too is also there so this is very very beautiful so when we are done with this so all the entrance where we create the beams there We'll be adding one or two cuts of blocks on them so that we can have the same level all around for the carpenters to come and start their work for the decking. I can't wait. We are getting it to a very exciting moment, and our client as well is also very, very happy considering how tedious it is for you to build on a sloping surface over here. This is not an easy thing at all. The steep is very, very deep. It's this is what we love to do and if you are also having a land on a sloping surface please go for someone that already have a track record of building on a sloping surface because every sloping surface comes with their own challenges and if you are engaging a contractor that hasn't built on the sloping surface before then you are risking your investment okay and not all building plans can work on a sloping surface 
okay so we always try to come to the land to inspect the land we do our own calculations before we'll be able to tell the kind of structure you have to put on your land okay and also with the help of the geotechnical expert okay they will come to perform a soil test and they will tell us the kind of soil we are having just the load bearing capacity they will tell us the load bearing capacity they will ask us are we looking for a two floors three floors with our own sitting down with them with our structural engineer our architect will all come together and see how many basement can we achieve for us to be above the road because this is very very vital we know how pressure it always be when it is raining we have to build retaining wall to maintain the structural integrity of a project you are building on the hillside over here okay so this is where i'm going to be ending this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel share with friends and family and also searching for a land watch this video number one we have lands at Ayekuma. Ayekuma is a very great location the land is very very sweet and very beautiful not far from the Ayekuma police station and Ayekuma government school we have a lot of developing estate around this Ayekuma land and I will advise you to quickly come on board to come and secure a plot or more over there number two we have land at Dodoa this is on the hillside of Dodoa behind the district hospital from there you have a breathtaking view of the Dodoa township I really love this location as well we have a lot of houses around this place you can start building and after a few one or two years you can as well move into this place number three location is abokobi on the hillside over here we have only two plots left at the moment we have new client which has also secured one of the plots we have available if you want to enjoy you are looking for a very beautiful place to build a vacation home your retired home or a dream home that you really want to feel happy and feel on top of everybody then you have to come to the hillside at the moment it's still quite affordable so i would advise you to come on board to come and buy land over there so the last location is Kataman. so this is a very beautiful location just around the elegant homes around the data center we have a lot of contemporary homes that are springing up left and right at this location we have a lot of real estate developers building expensive homes to be sold to people like you so the best time for you to also come and secure your own plot of land is today now all these locations i've mentioned no longer an issue they all comes with title certificates start building immediately without any problem okay you have to build your dream home be it a commercial project we are available to help you to build your dream home don't forget to subscribe to this channel see you some other time bye